welcome back to my channel here on YouTube guys uh, continuing on with Slammiversary um, we have Slammiversary 10 from 2012 the uh, the front cover might look a little bit boring to some I think it's a good idea I like it yeah obviously I haven't got any pictures of the, any of the stars on the front but instead they've gone with this uh, this really nice yellow uh, TNA logo which I like and this yellow Slammiversary and it with this uh, number 10 they've put if you can see from A to Z of every uh, TNA star to appear at um, Slammiversary over the you know over the years from 2005 to 2012 well, I thought it was a smart idea how they've done that so yeah that was cool so yeah this is a two disc set again they've gone with that uh, you know the A to Z of the superstars on the 10 for both discs which I thought was really cool and uh, in case you're wondering if they got rid of the Roman numerals this year, no. On the spine, there you go. There's the X for 10. Slammiversary X, or Slammiversary 10, whatever you want to call it. And I, as I said, I like the yellow uh, TNA logos. I think they look really cool. It's somewhat different, and it stands out a lot on the, uh, on the shelf when I've got them all together, which I think is really cool. So, TNA Wrestling celebrates 10 years of total non-stop action at the annual Summer Spectacular, Slammiversary 2012, live from Arlington, uh, Texas. Witness this historic night, a decade in the making, unfold again and loaded with bonus features. Watch TNA President Dixie Carter make history by announcing the inaugural inductee to the newly created TNA Wrestling Hall of Fame. A vicious three-man three match to decide the number one contender as well as the icon Sting taking on world champion Bobby Roode for the ultimate prize. With four world championships on the line and over two hours of exclusive never-before-seen bonus footage, Slammiversary 2012 guarantees to bring non-stop action from first bell to the last pin. So you know, they've got the uh, 10th anniversary logo there and the Spike TV, which is really smart. So we kicked things off with um, Austin Aries against Samoa Joe for the X Division Championship and what I thought was a really good opener, really cool match. Um, yeah, I think Austin Aries was quite a good uh, wrestler. I've always liked him. Samoa Joe, yeah, he's very good for his size. Uh, next up, we had Hernandez versus Kid Cash. Mm, it was okay, I guess. Uh, we had Robbie E and Robbie T against Devon and Garrett, which was uh, I didn't I didn't think much of that match to be honest. Didn't really like that one. There's the freeway number one contenders match between Rob Van Dam, Mr. Anderson, and Jeff Hardy. That was very cool. I did like that. Uh, we had an appearance at uh, some point as well from Christian Cage. Um, he was under contract to WWE still, um, but he done a WWE let him go there because they done a swap deal to let Ric Flair go to the WWE Hall of Fame for the Four Horsemen to be inducted. So they've done like a swap deal for that, uh, for this event only, for Christian to show up. And he gave uh, the number one moment out of the top ten moments of uh, TNA's history of the ten years. Uh, we had Crimson issues an open challenge. So Crimson stood on his undefeated streak here. And um, I was, when I first watched this, I thought Goldberg was going to come out. And the crowd, I think, were chanting Goldberg as well. That would have been pretty cool. But no, um, it was uh, 
cowboy James Storm, who um, who it, who accepted the challenge. I won't tell you the outcome of that because um, I don't want to spoil it. I try not to spoil the matches as much as I can now. But yeah, it was good. We had uh, TNA Knockouts Championship, Gail Kim against Miss Tess Macker. Um, that one could have been a lot better, I thought. I didn't really think much of it. Gail Kim tried her best there, I think. Miss Tess Macker wasn't a very challenging opponent for her, I don't think. That's just my opinion. And anything goes match between Bully Ray and Joseph Park. Felt a little one-sided for Bully Ray, to be honest. Um, it was good, don't get me wrong, but it's just, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> don't know what else to say about that one. Yeah, see it for yourself. <laughs> TNA World Tag Team Championship. So we had uh, Christopher Daniels and Kazarian, the champions, against Kurt Angle and uh, AJ Styles. This was a really cool match. Very good. Um, probably be the best match of the night. Yeah, it was really cool. And then we had uh, Bobby Roode defending his TNA World Heavyweight Championship against Sting. And at this point, Bobby Roode was... Um, he'd gone quite a few months as champion now, up to this point. Um, and become the longest reigning uh, TNA World Heavyweight Champion in the company's history. But yeah, this, this, was, uh, this was a cool match. I did like that one as well. Yeah, the bonus uh, stuff on this has uh, a documentary, uh, a top 10 TNA uh, moments, a uh, music video, and uh, various other uh, various other extras. But yeah, I, I highly recommend that. It's, uh, it's a really good uh, purchase. I think it's very smart how they've done it, as I said, with all the... Uh, the 10 and how they made the 10 and you know what I mean guys <laughs> anyway yeah very good I like this one 8.5 out of 10 it's getting from me uh, please let me know if you've seen this or want to get it in the comments below please uh, give me a thumbs up and if you haven't done already please subscribe to my channel I'd appreciate that uh, I'll see you again from the continuation of this series we're getting there we slowly get in there only another eight more to go, I think. <laughs> yeah, 2013 will be next. Um, take good care of yourselves, guys. Peace.